friends, welcome to your yoga practice of the day. Today's yoga practice is gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna intertwine Pilates with yoga. So it won't be intense and it won't be classical yoga, but it will be a nice fusion of them both. We will be stimulating our upper body and opening up our hearts, as well as stimulating our lower body our glutes and our inner and outer thighs. So grab your water, grab your mat, and let's hop into this. Starting in a child's pose. Let your arms stretch forward and allow your belly to relax. Take a full breath in and breathe it out of your mouth. Inhale for three, two, one, hold the breath. Exhale for three, two, one, pause the breath. Inhale for four, three, two, one, hold it. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Breathing organically, but trying to evolve those exhalations. You're going to inhale, drift forward, drop the pelvis, lift the toes, draw the shoulders back, and then pull it back into that child's pose. And lubricating those hips, let's do it again. Arching the back, opening up your chest and return. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Coming to a tabletop position, we're gonna open up the shoulders. You're gonna stretch that left arm forward. Inhale, reach up, look towards the thumb. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, lift, open up the ribs, and exhale, return. Last time, breathe in, and breathe out. Bring your hands down, pull the navel in, relax the shoulders. So same thing, other side, inhale, open up that thoracic spine. Exhale, return. Move with breath, breathe in. Breathe out. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Hands down, puppy pose. This time I want you to draw your elbows and forearms down. I don't want you to relax the head. I want you to look forward to your thumbs and exaggerate the arch in your thoracic and cervical. Feel the oxygen feel, fill up those lungs. Good, and then on your next exhale, come back to your tabletop. Round the spine, look towards the belly button, drop the head. And return to a neutral position. Curl over the toes, listen carefully, you're going to hover the knees. So we're going to move into bear. You're going to send your feet back into plank. You're going to come back into that bear position, which is knees under hips. Again, changing that leading leg. Rounding that upper back. Relax the face. Move slowly. Move back three. Two. And one. Come back to the bear, lower the knees, come onto the heels, keeping your toes curled. So making sure those toes are curled under. And starting here with the intention, palms face up, close your eyes. Take a full breath in and breathe out. Tuning into your breath so you can listen to 
what your body needs today. Does it need more strength? Does it need more patience? Does it need more awareness? And whatever that, whatever you're hearing from inside, can you make that your intention? Breathing in the strength, breathing in the awareness, or whatever that word may be to you. Once you have that word, take an inhale. Stick out your tongue as you exhale. And tuck your toes and sit back onto your heels. Oh, that feels good. You're going to reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands towards your heart. Round the spine. Interlace your fingers. Push them towards me. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Arch to the right. Inhale. Back to center. Exhale. To Once more, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center, slide your hands to your heart, take in that one word, and breathe it out. Let's have an amazing practice. Coming to that tabletop position, you're going to curl over your toes and send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Walking your feet further back than your normality. Feeling the stretch along your underarms. Take your right leg up, stack your hips, bend your right knee. Good, draw your right toes towards your left bum cheek, opening up the hips even more. And then slowly with control, bring it down to that downward dog. Other side, left leg lifts up. Bend the knee, open up the hip, open up the ribs. And then come back to center. And lower that foot down. Good, walk your hands towards your feet. Inhale, rise halfway. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, palms together and bow. Rise halfway. Walk yourself into plank. Good, listening carefully. Your body is basically as long as the mat. You're going to come all the way down. Send your arms forward. Legs are off the ground. Bend the elbows, lift the chest. Two more like that. Breathe in, stretch. Breathe out, squeeze. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Hands under your shoulders, curl over your toes, press to table, and downward dog. Good. Letting your heels get closer towards the mat now. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Hips stay level, left leg goes up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Foot to the floor, back knee to the ground, and tuck those toes. Lunge into your left leg. Good. I want you to bring your right hand outside of that thigh and your left hand to the other thigh. Looking down towards the floor. Hands inside of your left foot. Stretch that right leg further back. And see if you can pull your heart forward. <sighs> T 
take your left foot to the side of your mat. Push away that inner thigh. And maybe bend your opposite leg, catch that foot. Looking over the left shoulder. Good, release the foot. Hands come down. Bring that foot in. Curl over your back toes. Send that left arm up. Good, nice big stretch. Open up the heart. Hands come down, step to plank. Move all the way to the floor. Finger pads outside of your mat. Inhale, wave your chest up. Exhale, flutter it down. Good, you're gonna move to your right side and place your right hand onto your head. So we're gonna move into a little bit of Pilates. You're gonna send both of your knees into a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to lift that top leg off the ground. Good, you're gonna come up a little bit, come down a little bit. Reach up and down, little tiny movement. Good. And you want to try to keep all of your joints stacked. Deepen the breath. Good. Right here for four. Three. Two. And one. I want you to extend that leg straight back further than your hip line and bring it back to that 90 degrees. Good. Can you keep the same height? Can you squeeze that left bum cheek when that leg is extended? Activating the glute knees. And we're here for a few more breaths. And we're going to pulse it up and down. In three, in two, in one. Extend the leg exactly on your hip line and then pulse it up and down. Your foot is flexed. Those big toes are trying to point downwards for three and two and one. Now point your toes upwards. Little pulses. Make the range a bigger range of motion. Up and down for ten. For eight. Four, three, two, and one amazing drop. So you're gonna slide onto your back now, and you're gonna hug your knees towards your chest. Let them be apart. Grab that left leg. Come into a half happy baby. You can keep your right knee in, or you can extend it long, stretching that left, that right arm overhead. Feeling the separation of your hips, enjoying it. Option to stay here or option to straighten that left leg and use your arm strength to pull that leg closer. Amazing. Keep the face relaxed. You've got three, two, and one. Knees to chest, roll two or three times. Just opening up that back body and coming onto your hands and knees and find your downward dog. Take a full breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, come forward to plant. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Upward dog, slide through, look up. And downward dog, pull the back to the beginning. Let's do that again. Inhale forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward dog, slide through. And downward dog, pull it home. Option to stay here or flow once more. Inhale forward. Exhale lower. Inhale rise. Exhale return. Reground and find that work. Take your right.
right leg up. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Foot down, left shin to the ground. Lift up the torso. Readjust if you need to. And turn your torso towards the right. Slowly breath here. Good. Noticing any stuck areas. Bring your hands inside of that right foot. Keep your shin and shoulder together. And stretch your heart forward. Retracting those shoulder blades. Breathing. Good. Wiggle that right foot to the side. Resist that thigh as much as you can. Push away from it or maybe catch that back. Keeping your gaze beyond that big toe for three and two and one. Hands come down. Wiggle your foot in. You're going to take your left knee off the ground. Open up that right arm. Reaching back. Hold it. Good, hands to the ground, step that foot back, take an inhale, exhale, lower all the way down. King Cobra, separate your feet, elevate your chest, lift your belly and drop your shoulders. Close your eyes and tune inwards. Thinking of your intention, that one word and repeating it in your mind. Good, slowly lower towards the earth. You're gonna come onto that left side now. Bend both of your knees and flex the foot. Good, lifting that right knee off of the ground. Little up, little down. Little up, little down. This helps activate the glutes before we really try to strengthen the glutes, which is super important to create that strength in that specific part of our bum cheek, where we optimize in resisting gravity. You got three. Two. And one, send that leg straight back, squeeze the glute, bring it back, stop them. Good, fluid breath, fluid motion. Keep it strong. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe with it for three. We're gonna pulse it out in two. And one, right along that hip line, toes point down, little pulses, up, and up, and up. For five, four, three, two, one, toes point up now. Good, bigger range of motion for five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. Come onto your spine, draw your knees towards your armpit, hug them nice and close, grab that right foot to your right hand, half happy. Choose your variation. Whatever you feel drawn to, go there. Enjoy it. Breathe with it. Stretch your right leg completely up. You can hold the back of your hamstring, you can hold your calf, you can hold your big toe, whichever feels yummy and 
enjoyable and not forceful. For three, two, and one. Release the foot, knees to chest. You're gonna roll, rock and roll up and down. Three, two, one. Come into a plank. Again, move through a flow. Knee and downward dog. One breath in. One breath out. Hip stay level. Left leg goes up. Bring the knee towards the nose. Step the foot to the floor. Warrior one stance. Stretch all the way up. Good. You're going to twist to the left. Reach up. Twist to the right. Reach up. Hands to the ground. Step back. Three legged dog. Flow. Breathe in. And out. Right leg goes up. Draw the knee towards the face. Step the foot to the ground. Warrior one. Come up high. Inhale. Exhale. Twist to the right. Reach up, twist to the left. Inhale, exhale, hands down, three legged plank, flow. I will meet in a child's pose. <sighs> Let go of the effort, stay connected to the breath. Slide your knees behind your wrists. We're going to move into sleeping hero. So your big toes are coming together. Your hands are behind your back. Wiggle your bum between your heels. If you feel a stretch here, stay here. And if you want more, you're going to recline further onto your shoulder blades. Stretching your arms overhead. Closing your eyes, eliminate the distractions. Nourishing breath in and out through your nose for three. And two. And one, slowly come up. Use your elbows to rise. We're going to move into Ustrasana. So your legs are parallel. Lift your bum off of your heels. Curl over your toes. Hands to your lower back. Squeeze your elbows in. Look up. And maybe take your hands to your heels. You want to direct your hips over your knees as best as possible. Hands to your lower back, rise up. Cross your shins and extend your legs forward. And we're gonna counteract that heart opener with stack pose. You're gonna pull the flesh from your sit bones back, erect your spine. Bend your knees a little bit, flex your toes, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, grab the outsides of your feet, Push your heart forward. <sighs> Amazing. One more breath here. Slowly release the hands from the feet. Draw your hands underneath your shoulders. Fingertips towards your bum. Feet plant hip width apart. Reverse tabletop. Drop your head, squeeze your bum cheeks. More than welcome to stay here, or if you want to move into a reverse plank, you're going to straighten your legs. Working those triceps, lifting that thumb. Good. Keep it strong. Push those shoulders down, the heart up for three. 
two, and one lower to touch around the feet. Russian twist. So you're gonna make sure your bum is planted and you're gonna lean back. Not to a point that you're rounding your spine too much. You want your shoulders pulled back and your heart pressed forward. So you're gonna bring your hands together either in a fist or a prayer. And you're gonna to start to twist side to side. And breathing in and out through your nose. Relaxing your face. See if you can lean back further. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come all the way down. Knees to chest. Rock and roll side to side. Feet plants towards the mat. Walk your heels close towards your glutes. You're gonna lift your bum up. Separate your knees, bring them back slightly together and hover your touch. So lift, separate, bring them back and lower. Continue at your own pace. You're trying your best to keep your feet planted. I know it's challenging when those legs come apart. And really make sure you're squeezing your glutes when you rise to the top for five, four, three, two. Hold it up for one, little pulses up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, knees to chest, rock side to side. Good. Take your left foot down, your right leg out. Flex it, draw your cross, thread the needle, slide your right arm through and relax your shoulder. Notice what you feel. Both feet come down. Make it smooth, transition to the other side. Different interlace of your hands. Lower your feet down. You're going to separate your feet not with apart, arms in cactus. Drop your knees to the left, look to the right. And then drop your knees to the right, look to the left. Letting that left thumb cheek come off the floor. Good. Bring your knees back to center. I want you to come into final Shavasana. Take a full breath in. And breathe it out of your mouth. Staying comfortably on the floor. Allowing gravity to pull you deeper into your mat. of that one word you intentionally moved into your practice. Feel it be embodied. Feel that word repeat in your mind. Try your best Finishing all efforts, all control. Feeling the sense of surrender. 
surrender to the universe and seeing where it brings you. 